Hi, Trevor Sigich here. I'm joined by Perry Dickey and we got Tegan Andrews, our production coordinator at Worldwide Golf Shops with us. So we've been sitting here talking, we've been watching Tegan hit a couple shots and we're gonna take you through a P-Series irons fitting right now. And there's a couple things that we're seeing right out of the gates and I think this is very important when it comes to the different levels of player. Obviously Tegan is a very, very good player. But what we're seeing right out of the gates is a lot of spin. And I think that kind of goes to say when it comes to the range of players, you know, we can do a lot of adjustments to make every single player better. Yeah, and I, I would say production coordinator is a bit misleading for <laughs> we don't. It's rarely even at the kingdom that we get this level of athlete, this type of skill, this type of speed. But to that point, someone like Tegan, we can really help dial him in all the way to sort of the mid to high handicap player. Everyone can benefit from this. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So we'll let you take it away and I'll let you do your thing. Okay. Because I'm gonna sit here over your shoulder yeah. and I'm gonna nerd out a little bit and yeah. I'll throw some questions, but yeah. we'll let you take it away. Yeah, yeah, let's see you hit a couple here. For sure. Wow. Beautiful strike, Tegan. Thanks. So you're currently playing uh, a muscle back blade iron. Correct. With 130 gram extra stiff shaft, standard length, standard loft. Standard length and loft. And how's that going? Uh, it's going okay. I'm definitely getting those uh, the high spin with those clubs as well. I mean, it just kind of goes through the roof with the spin. Okay. The RPM. Let's see one more, please. Beautiful strike. So yeah, looking at your data from an efficiency standpoint, you'd certainly check all the boxes. I mean, club hit speed over 100 miles an hour with a seven iron. We don't see that very often at all, even on tour ball speed in the mid high 130s. So the elephant in the room again is your spin rate. Your launch angle being in the 14, 15 degree range is very efficient, but we like your spin rate to be down in the mid to low 7,000s and you're in the mid to eight, the mid to high 8,000s, wow. which yeah. is very excessive. So why that's important for a player of your caliber is into the wind, you're gonna be really compromised. Your distances are gonna be really shrunk down and affected by into the wind. Conversely, downwind, you're gonna see a massive delta there between your gaps, and you're gonna hit it a lot farther than you would otherwise into the wind, right? So you're having to, to really work around your spin and manage your spin where as other players who maybe don't hit as hard as you can just sort of hit the club that matches their distance. Right, right. and that's the thing too, like into the wind, I just try to hit it like harder as, as I end more down, but like, in turn, that kind of just boosts Creates up the even spin more spin. Anyways, yeah. right. So it's kind of a dilemma that I struggle with, with, with the speed and the spin combination being so high. Yeah. So let's talk specifically about, about <sighs> our iron lineup and, and, and what we consider for you. So we have brand new irons for this year. We're really excited about P7MB, our muscle back iron. Right. Okay. What we, we, this uh, traditionally has always been on 35 degrees of loft on the seven iron. This year we've matched the MB loft to the MC which makes combo sets a bit more seamless as well for someone who, you know, maybe would own a combo set. Sure. Um, this iron will have the highest center of gravity, which will promote the most spin. And right now you're currently playing an MB, which am, is, yeah. yeah, part of why you're fighting that spin. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the P770 iron. This iron is another, it's an awesome product, slightly stronger loft, 33 degrees. Uh, it features the speed pocket. This iron really is more for the moderate swing speed player. Who, who needs a little bit more horsepower. Right. You certainly have plenty of that. <laughs> uh, where, where you would struggle here is that it would actually really expand out all your gaps. It'd be hard to access in between yardages. Sure. And be really precise with how far you're hitting it. Sure. So this is probably not the iron for you, sure. as hard as you hit it. <laughs> so I, I'd like to key in on our P7MC. Uh, so it's revamped this year, slightly smaller, right? right. We tried to make it a little bit more uh, of a b better player's iron, slightly smaller blade length, thinner top line. So a player of your caliber can play this. It's not too, it's not too big. It has that traditional look and feel and shape. Right. But the loft package that we're gonna we're gonna end up needing in this in the little slightly higher center of gravity to keep your spin rate down. Right. So typically the seven MCs are lower spin club than the seven MBs, or yes. just because of the back cavity. It, because of the way the, the center of gravity is positioned, it's slightly lower spin. Right. And this year now they're on the same loft, which which helps for the combo sets. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we've been we've been hitting the 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 seven MC on a on a on a standard loft, thirty four degrees. I'm gonna show you what a slightly stronger, stronger loft would look like. Right, Let's okay, cool, that. yeah. Now, while you're changing that, I think that you talked about a couple things when it comes to 
Tegan not playing a 770, but that's because there's a range of different uh, heads within the lineup that fit a range of different players. Yes. Right? And yes. so as you get into a 770, you're leaning more towards kind of like your your 10 handicaps and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe a, a better player can still play it. Absolutely. Uh, I, I, yeah, skill level is is, is one one asset, as facet you look at, but I also look at ball speed. So what's nice about 770 is it creates more ball speed than a traditional forging. So for someone who say is 110 miles an hour ball speed on a seven iron, that needs help creating distance and expanding their distance gaps, a product like 770 will help them. Right, Yeah. absolutely. So again, we're adjusting the, the lie on, on this to be stronger. So we're adjusting the loft. The loft. This is, the, this is our new loft sleeve, so I'm gonna put it on the um, strong position. Okay. So how many degrees strong is that going to be? I'm putting it two, de two degrees strong. So now it's going to be on 32 degrees of loft and we'll see a difference in the spin rate. Now that's absolutely going to affect height and probably your yardage as, as well. Yeah, Quite yeah. a bit, hopefully, yeah. right? Hopefully. Let's try that now, please. Beautiful strike. Already noticing a major difference there, actually. Beautiful strike. That was lower. That was definitely that lower. Was lower. Yeah. So that is an immediate change. 13 and a half launch, now 6,800 spin. So that's which, closer to what we want. Which right? is essentially, yeah, oh. like a perfect, yeah. a perfect, uh, a perfect seven iron. That's music again. to my ears. Yeah. And from that, you also, I mean, your carry went from, what was he at before? About a 180, 185? Uh, if that, yeah. If that, and then, now you, yeah, 193 to a total 193 distance. off that, wow. Yeah. God, that feels good. Really good. Yeah, look how much farther that's going already. So we're definitely getting some more distance, which is which is nice, you know. And for you, like a 190 yard seven iron would seem like a normal seven iron, given yeah. how hard you hit it. You're in the high 130s in ball speed. But for me, more importantly, it's the functionality of your trajectory. So 14 degrees of launch, now in the low 7,000s on spin. Now that opens up your world. So Absolutely. you can control the ball so much more. Yeah. So if you needed to hit it, say 185 yards or 182 yards, or if you had a little bit of headwind or downwind. No, I mean, I, I don't even feel like I'm trying to hit these low and yet I'm getting the same result as if I were trying to hit a really low ball flight yeah. with my older clubs or with the last setup. Yeah, and so, I mean, it's honestly, it's as simple as that. I mean, Perry, we can also, talk about something like this what what kind of impact is getting fit for your irons have for you know let's say a higher handicap i mean that's the difference of a number of strokes yeah uh, it, it, for higher handicaps absolutely it's about creating functional trajectories and distance gaps throughout your entire set especially in the longer part of the set but yeah making it easy so you can get the ball in the air you can hold the green you can hit it the right distance that you need to hit it all all skill levels really but yeah, high right. handicaps, absolutely. And there's also a number of different offerings that you guys have coming out as well with the Stealth. Yeah. And then you have the Stealth HD, yeah. which the HD is a very unique one. It is. It's it's a newer product for us. It's a product that I'm really excited about because traditionally in the game improvement side of things, we've always focused on distance, which is which is a great pursuit. But now we have an iron that gives you the distance, but also the height and the spin which is really cool, yeah. There's a wide range of options for a wide range of players. As you can see, what we were able to do with Tegan off of just a couple different tweaks really speaks to the importance of getting custom fit. So make sure you head to your local Worldwide Golf Shop's retail location and get custom fit today.